This is good. I like it. Okay, I think we can turn it off now. Okay, I can see I can see now how it works. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games Kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die. We play 7 Days to Die Modded and we're back with War of the Walkers. We are going to try out these blocks today. <laughs> I promise I will not get sidetracked. We're gonna try out the Screamer blocks and the Bird Tree Seed blocks, whatever. We're gonna try them out. Now, I don't know exactly how the Screamer blocks work. Um, I don't know if the Screamer blocks work in the sense that they attract Screamers, like an extreme amount of heat, or if they excuse me or if they actually spawn streamers so that you get streamers come out of the block basically so if they are attracting screamers then what we might do just purely for the purpose of being able to make a loot farm well we still have to manually loot is design it in a way that the screamers get attracted and kill themselves around spikes or something on it and we put the thing in the center so but i'm not sure exactly how we're going to build it yet but that's what we want to try today mainly what else happens i don't know we'll see Either way, I hope you guys are going to have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. All right, everything sorted out and damn those fragments! <laughs> we have one marksman fragment. One. And the one we find is another A. What the balls, man? RNG, like, holy balls. RNG, I hate RNG. Anyway, we should have made the screamer block in the last episode. I upgraded to the latest game, and I don't know if that was last time like that. It could be. I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not 100% sure. But I had to learn the screamer block in my actual um, recipes for 10 points. So, oh, this is where I have all that stuff. Oh, man. I was wondering where I put that. There we go. I have, like, two or three recipes here, and I was like, where am I putting this? Okay, we're going to need to eat, actually. Okay, so let's take about half the food. I think we're gonna be all right. There we go, nice. Also, somebody was asking me if I can go through all the foods that you can make, and I said, we will, we will, but not today. And at some point, we're gonna have to sit down and see flour, bread, all the different types of food we can make, you know, because we can probably do it all now at this point. There's very little luck behind. Now, what we do want is access this, and now tell the... mortar and pestle to craft birch trees so here we go that's three of them that's 20 seconds oh so one is seven seconds okay so it's rounded down interesting so here we go birds nest birds nest tree another birds nest tree and another at the same time, we can craft the Screamer block, which is 2 minutes and 14. So in the meantime, I don't want them very close to my base because I don't know what they will look like or how big they are or if we even see how big they are because a lot of things when they're custom, we place them, you don't see what they are. And then do we need any spaces around them? Do we? I don't know. I have no idea. You know what I'm getting at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we see an outline. Oh, okay. So it's just like a tree. Interesting. So, can we put it here? And we put them. We can put them actually right beside each other. Now, I don't like that. I want to make a little bit of a space. Let me see. So, if we go every second. Nice. And then we can have one in... Uh, one, we can have another one here and another one here if it works out. Or we can just put one in the middle. Yeah, let's put one in the middle. End of story. Now, let's see what they're, what they're like when they're growing. It will probably take a while. Um, uh, is our Screamer block ready? Our Screamer block is nearly ready. So what we're going to do is I have some spikes up there. And again, I don't know exactly how they are spawned, the Screamers. If they're attracted to it, if they get spawned in on it. I have no idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Take all these spikes. We're going to take a serious amount of upgrade stuff. Um, 2,500 should be enough. And maybe some steel. Yeah. All right. And we can also turn off that light. 
There we go. Now, where are we going to put it? I think we should... Let me see. Go a little bit out. Make some room here. This is a very good... This is a very nice area here. I like that. Okay, so let's see. We need some more wood frames. Oh, the screamer block is uh, the screamer block is made. Let's see how big it is. Oh, it's just a block. Okay. There's already some zombies here. Now, what I what I think we should do is we should dig out an area. We have no petrol left, don't we? No, we have none. We actually, yeah, we have to make some petrol as well. I'm just going to get a shovel. We're going to dig out because I don't want to build ramps and all that. So what we're going to do for the testing is we're going to dig out a 9x9 nine nine area or 3x3 three three or 5x5, five 5x5, five, five, five 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 five, something like that. Then put spikes everywhere and in the middle of all the spikes, we're going to put the screamer block. Then we're going to go off and hide somewhere and see what happens. That's the plan. <laughs> and in a perfect world, that works perfectly. So let's see, what do I need? What do I need? What am I actually here for? I forgot. What did I come back for? I forgot. Shovel. That's what it was. And, oh, they're burning barrels. Oh, that's crap. I thought we had barrels that we can turn into oil. We have burning barrels only. That sucks donkey balls. But I have a lot of that stuff. So let me see what we can use that for. Actually, gas cans in the chemi station. Very good. Where's our chemi station? We should have one. Did we not build one yet? Oh, there. I was just about to say. We, I thought we only built one. So let's put that here and let's... Yeah. that That's okay. Only four minutes. Okay. I think it produces actually quite a lot. Yeah, 7,500. That is going to be a lot. I don't think it's going to fit all here. Yeah, we're going to have to make a chest. I also have to take these guys off. This is just nonsense. What we can do in the meantime as well, while everything is building up, um, I just use this. Oh, nice. Oh, that they're stuck actually pretty high. I didn't realize that. Is it 5,000? Okay. So while this is actually crafting, what we could do also is uh, queue up the battery bank. I need 10 more forged iron. Okay. Excellent. So we have gas been made and this one is now the battery bank let me see there we go nice yes all right we're crafting it now we have to wait here in the crafting menu now if everything goes well i'm recording my camera separately now and uh, the quality is not going to get much improved and that's because of youtube the quality is a lot improved actually in the initial recording because the camera gets recorded separately i'm um, editing it into the video during the editing process now which doesn't really add a lot more effort so it's grand and uh, but it allows me to freely move it around the game screen so if i play new games especially like and i notice oh this is actually getting covered up there or here i don't have to constantly remove it and stop recording i can just do it during editing which is really great or i can take it out completely if there's like a cut scene or something you know which is even better so now we have the battery bank let's place the battery bank and then we're going to pick it up straight away again because i just replaced that block here so let's just put it here. There we go. Now you should see the quests now. Now four or five has been completed and five for five is the electrician. Now, I don't think we have electrician. We have only one electrician fragment, but I think now at this point we have every single class done except for the last part on, on most of them where we just are not getting the fragments. So I think at this point, what I really want to do is focus on something else like this. A tungsten pickaxe, can we do that? Or is that something that is going to be blocked behind building or something like, let me see, tungsten pickaxe. Crafted in the advanced tool workbench. So if we go into here, tungsten. We need construction aid. Tungsten tool crafting and tradesman class. Tool smithing nine and tradesman's class. So we need to get smithing up. And it's 15 points. Um, oh, we're only at tool smithing six. Oh, my balls. We need a lot of points, guys. I think we're going to have to start doing some of these quests because I think these quests that we can buy on the class machines 
are giving us points, basically. I think so. No, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. Oh yeah, we already bought, we already emptied them. So I think they give us points. So if we start focusing on them for points and then we can you know, race toolsmithing and all that. Anyway, I'm sidetracking. I know, I know, I know. So uh, let's put that machine away. We have that done finally. And let's use this, uh, go and place the screamer block and let's see what the story is with that. So I'm just clearing everything up a little bit so we can see where things are coming from. So the first test I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, um, it's going to be right here in the middle, basically, yeah, right here. Yeah, that's where it's gonna be. So, but I'm gonna put it in without any spikes first because I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna be spawning on top of the block or if they're gonna spawn uh, like normal screamers, just heat map pulled, yeah? And I put it over here so that hopefully the, the, the screamers don't get pulled from my base, but get pulled from somewhere over here. So that's the idea. So let's put that block down. There we go. Use it. Okay, so we have to put some firewood in, which is good. So which means we can actually turn it on and off. And let's just, yeah, I suppose, put in a little bit first and see what happens. Now, heat map wise, this should generate a lot of heat. So let's see, can we, st will it burn? Will we burn ourselves? Oh, we're not. Oh, we do. So it is basically like one massive campfire. Interesting. So how long does it take before screamers get attracted? Okay, there's no screamers yet. You see, I literally taught, like, you know, that we... The moment we turn it on, we get, like, screamers streaming in from all directions. But that does not seem to be the case. Okay, let's... We wait a little bit and see. Here we go. Here's the first screamer. Okay. That is good. We leave her alive, actually, because I want to see if there's going to be a second Screamer. Okay, we got a pot, because what we are after is fragments. She's screaming again. There should be more. Okay. Oh, there oh, I thought it was a second Screamer. That's just a nurse. Okay, sorry there, no touches, and... Whoa. Okay. There's another Screamer, nice. Okay, dogs I don't want to deal with, thank you. I should have taken a gun with me. Okay. This is good. I like it. Okay, I think we can turn it off now. Okay, I can see I can see now how it works. So, let's single out the scrapers. Wow, okay, so this is this may be more than I bargained for because I don't have a gun with me and I can't hit those dogs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really, really quickly go to my place. They're not running, so it's only the dogs. Get a gun so that we can actually take care of the dogs. Or we're going to jump on our own spikes first to make sure that when the dogs get on them, they work. Never happened to me before. I never ever missed this jump before. It's like, okay, Desert Eagle, what bullets do you take? Okay, I think we have the bullets for that. Thank you. 
Okay, now let's get. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's go back here. We want to take care of those screamers. Okay. Now we want to loot the guys as quickly as possible. I think there was a fragment. Okay, we got a screamer. Let's get take care of the dogs. Okay, the dogs, the dogs need, okay. Okay, kill the screamers. Thank you. No screamers here, no screamers here. And there's one more screamer over there, I think. Okay, dogs. Where are the dogs? Okay, is there more screamers? Let me see. No, no more screamers. Okay, that's good. So, because once the screamers are cleared out, we can take care of the zombies. All right, so let's stop the running. Let's take care of the guys. Of course. Go. Let's see what loot they bring us. Yeah, let's stick with melee. Come on. The lag is a little bit real, guys, in the moment, so I apologize for that. Come on, loot. Okay, no fragments. We have one fragment so far. We got that from a screamer. What the hell? There we go. Oh, my balls. Still no fragment. So the drop chance of fragments seems to be extremely low. I saw you. Got some lovely pants. Okay, so, oh, there's a screamer over there. She's dead. I think most of the zombies have despawned now. But it was a good demonstration how many zombies we can expect. I mean, that was four screams, I think, from a screamer. There we go. Got some goggles. Got another fragment. And so far, I think all the fragments we got are fragments we already had. Nothing. Nothing, okay. And all the others um, have uh, disappeared, have despawned. Okay, we got another one. Very good. And that's it. Okay, so the idea is that now that we know how it works is... Oh, protection. Ugh, fighter, we already have fighter. Oh, we got two protection in this little test. We got two identical protection class fragments. Out of possible 15 fragments, 
the RNG decided to give us two of the same was in the same 10 minutes time span. That, that is the most messed up RNG, man. The, the, seriously. I, I would not get that lucky ever playing the lotto or something. That is just absolutely stupid. Yes, I said stupid. <laughs> it is. It's just rid ridiculously moronic. So let's um, see where our spikes are. Let's put them down. And let's upgrade them. Of course, I can't upgrade them. And I don't have the hammer with me because that would make too much sense. So we're going to have to upgrade them with a shitty little stone axe. I'm sorry. And we can't do that either because... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to come back in a second. We're going to upgrade that, turn it back on. And then while we do our other stuff, our own stuff, we're going to um, let that take care of itself. Now I turned it on at the same time because we just I just accepted another quest which the, I bought the paper for. Okay, let's upgrade them to metal first. I have to make steel blocks and I don't think I have actually enough steel to upgrade them all. I I don't. No. I have like 36 like like three upgrades. So let's not do them all to steel. So there you go. Now they should be killing themselves on it because the idea is that they walk towards the uh, spawner and as they walk towards them, they start killing themselves. What is that shiny light over there? No idea what that is supposed to be. There we go, there's screamer number one. She can't see us. She should walk towards the block. She isn't. Why is she not walking onto the block? That is so not nice. I can hear footsteps. Ah, balls. Ah, balls. What about this one over there? Yeah, we let her walk. Yeah, I'm gonna take care with, uh, of these guys with my melee weapon. There we go. Because I have the quest after all. Kill 50 zombies with the melee weapon. It only gives me four hit points though, which is a pity. And um, let's see, we should get a lot of uh, screamers over there on the other side at some point collecting. Come on. There you go, nice. Cracker lacking. Awesome. There we go. Take care of them like a pro. Oh, why is there a zombie here spawning now? Genie Mac. Dude, you're not supposed to spawn here. There's a block over there for a reason. Genie Mac. Unbelievable. Oh, there's actually a useful zombie for a change. Ah, he dropped nothing. These guys just killed themselves. That's okay. Oh, it was only one. I thought it was two. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Nice. Can't get to the nurse. Nice. And fragment? Oh, Steve, there we go. Okay, so how many screamers do we have over there now? We just have one. So it doesn't seem to attract more than one screamer. Hmm. Okay. I suppose let's continue to have some fun with some screamers and do this for a little while. Oh, there's two screamers actually. So one scream per screamer. Then we're gonna kill the screamer. Mm. 
Because we should be getting a constant... I, I know I'm bleeding. There we go. There we go, nice. Oh, that was good. That was a little bit of extra cash. There we go. Any more screamers? Yeah, there's one. Oh, nice. There was a fragment. And don't tell me it was another B fragment. That was awesome. Oh, nice. We got a handlebar. At least some of the drops are useful. But this video basically is all about testing the screamer block, you know, what drops do we get and all that jazz. So there will be a lot of this. No oh, nice. There's a lot of this nonsense here. So you have to excuse me if you're not into all the zombie killing and zombie slaughtering. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to do more building and other useful stuff in the next episode. This is more just to test all this. Excellent. Okay. We let her do her one scream. Here's the dog. Ah, if the dog would actually run straight at me. There we go. Okay, we need to collect our energy now. There we go. Nice. Energy going up. Okay, no new screamer, but it should be they should be coming at really decent intervals. I wonder what would happen if we built five of them and put them like in a huge block with like 10 by 10 uh, um, spikes around it. That would be awesome. Oh, dog. I hate you. There we go. Because I know he's going to bite me in the ass when I least expect it. There we go. We already have 26 zombies. So we're getting through a lot of zombies, guys. And look at this. We're getting the same fragments over and over again. It's This is... This is bull RP uh, RNG. Absolute bull RNG. But at least we're doing the test now, which is really, really good. Absolute horrendous RNG. It's a joke. I mean, with, is it? It's five quests, I think, in total. Is it? And you should. And, five, and each quest has three fragments. Yeah. So that makes fifteen fragments. How likely is it that among 30 zombies, you get four times the same fragments? Like, well, sorry, two times, like two fragments in total. Four times, like so repeated, which is absolutely horrendous. Yes, I panicked, I panicked, I know. I need to kill that screamer. There we go. Nice, we got an engine from her. Oh my balls. Okay, now we're out of stamina. Okay, we got another one. There we go. Dogs incoming. Yeah. I can't hit dogs to save my life. There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna lure them away now so that the next screamer will just stand around there because I don't want to attract any more dogs for now. There we go. And then we have actually completed our 50 zombie quest as well. Come on, get up. There we go. Who's next? There we go. Nice. And we got in total, I think, four fragments. And including the first wave... Oh, there was another fragment. Including the first time we tried it, we got in total five fragments. So the drop chance of fragments in general is not very high. There we go. 
Is she gonna scream or is she gonna dead? Is she dead? Ah, damn it, we hit the dog. I think she's dead. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's turn it off. Good. Scream her life still? Yeah. Sorry, gonna have to tell you to be quiet. Where's the dogs? No dogs? I'm impressed. Oh, I hear a dog. Well, I thought I did. No. So we actually already had 50 zombies because I shot a few with um, my... There we go. There's one more screamer, even though it's turned off. Okay. There we go, nice. Okay, do we have 50 zombies? Now here we go, that's 50 zombies. We leveled up, we finished the quest, we got four points and we got points for leveling up, which is awesome. Okay, so let's 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 leave these guys alone. Let's just kill the ones we have. If another screamer comes in, then we're just gonna leave her alone. And that's that's pretty much all we're going to do this episode. We did a really, I think we did a good test. We had, I don't know how many screamers spawned. We did a very, very good test. We killed probably around 60 to 70 zombies in total, uh, including dogs, probably around 80. And the loot we got was quite impressive in general. However, what did we get on fragments? Fighter class two, which we already have. Protection class two, probably the same. Yeah, we already have that as well. And then we got a covert class B and a covert class A. So we got A and B covert class. I think covert class we already learned. Let me see, covert. Yeah, we already know that. Fighter class, we already know. Builder class. We already know. So everything we got is from classes we already know. Um, oh, protection class. Protection class, we still have to learn, but we probably got the ones we already have. Now that was a really good test and oh, there's a dog still. <laughs> no, that the dog is dead. There's no more screamer coming. That was a good test. We killed like loads and loads of zombies, like about 80, I would say, 80, 90, I think. And, um, I probably should look at my count here. But the fragments we got were basically six fragments. We already all had. There was nothing new. And I think what we're going to end up with is... Oh, nice. What we're going to end up with is... Uh, spawning in the ones we're missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. This is beautiful. I like this. So I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Yeah, these guys are going down. Maybe we get a couple of more fragments from these guys. Let's see. The shades, jacket, hat, bullets, trousers, skirt. Oh, nice. Okay, we actually should scrap all that. Actually, I'm gonna keep them because I have three now. I keep leveling up the one I have. And scrap that. Nice stone axe. You can scrap that. No fragments. Interesting.